Hello, hi, this is Dr. Karen Perez, and today we're going to be talking about how to write a substantive discussion post for your online education. So, steps to complete a substantive discussion posting. First, you need to read the discussion question. What is it that the instructor is asking you? After reading the question, then review or read the rubric. How is it that you're going to be graded? Some discussion posts do not have a rubric, but also look at the requirements. Then complete the reading of the week, because most of the time the discussion questions are based on the reading for that week. Also, Start writing your discussion in a Word document. Um, you'll have the ability to make any changes, also to identify any error, grammatical error, or spelling error in a Word document. Make sure to check your, um, check your paper or your discussion posting for correct grammar and citation. And after creating that discussion post in a Word document, then you're going to copy and paste it in the discussion forum. Please do not attach document unless it is required by the instructor or your instructor to do so. Instead, copy the word doc the information from the word document and post it in the forum. And then last but not least is to respond to your peers and also if the instructor ask any question or post any question on your discussion thread make sure to go back and answer those questions also. So we'll talk about reading the question. Um, you want to look at the purpose. What question or required reading are you being asked to respond to? Particulars, what are the word limit? When is it due? What time? What resources are you expected to draw on? And also response time. Are you being asked to reflect on a personal experience? Determine a solution to a problem? Compare two ideas or make an argument? What is the format? What is it that the instructor is requesting? If no specific format is indicated, follow the general APA format. And this is a nursing course and APA format is required. Expectations. How will your discussion posts be assessed? As I mentioned before, look at the rubric if one is um, provided. Consult your course material or ask your instructor. Read the discussion question. And here's, a, here's an example of a discussion question. Identify two organizational structures used in healthcare. What are the central characteristics of each? To what extent is bureaucracy necessary in healthcare organizations? Explain. Now, this is a packed question because this is like three questions in one. So what I tell students, create a heading. So one, will be identify two organizational structure and then the other one will be characteristic and then the other heading will be bureaucracy review the rubric if available because not all courses or not all discussion has a rubric but if it does have one then use it if not look at the requirement that the instructor is asking so complete assigned reading first so you want to complete the assigned reading before you start writing because if you do that you'll be able to pull information from that reading and incorporate it in your discussion so as you're reading at that time you're making the connection between the text and your own life and also what is required immerse yourself into the reading so that when you are read when you're ready to begin writing you're fully prepared to present an authentic, meaningful response. Not only that, you can cite certain things. And this is very good when you have your discussion 
that you use credible information and credible data to back up what you're saying. Review whenever you get uh, instructor feedback, it is imperative that you look at the feedback of the instructor from previous discussion polls to make sure that you're following all the expectations. If you don't go back to look what the instructor comment about, like for example, your APA format, then you'll be making the same error in the APA format if you do not um, go back to review the instructor's feedback. So start writing your discussion post. As I mentioned early on, use Word document. You want to develop a strong argument to support your statement with evidence from the course material. So if you're saying that um, there are different types of organizational structure and this organizational structure influence how the culture of an uh, organization is set up, you this idea um, should be cited, should be supported by evidence. So in other words, research, 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 and cite, cite, cite. The way, like for example, look at this as an example. A way healthcare organization is structured will be determined by tax, organizational, and governance and liability issues. And then you cite where that information comes from. Now, this is more credible. Do something extra that require others to think and to respond to the ideas you're sharing. Form what your discussion posting in an introduction. So even though the question was a threefold question and it talks about um, the structure of an, a healthcare organization, talk about bureaucracy, then you want to do an introduction, then you answer the question and then you have a conclusion. Your discussion format should be um, as such. Citation, reference, and grammar. Make sure to check all spelling and grammar include citation where needed and if you have a citation in text it should be in your reference like for example the statement was made here and then there was an in-text citation the in-text citation should be on your reference page and the reason why it is set up like that is because the in-text citation does not give all the information it just gives the author's name and the year but the reference will give you the the title of the article or the title of the book and where it was published and what edition and which city so whatever is on your in your text should be in your reference on your reference page also response to your peers post your response engage your classmate and continue to ask follow-up question to say, oh, I agree, is not good enough, good enough. What can I write that will add value to the discussion? Your posting should be substantive. And even though it's a response to your peers, you still should also have citation and reference. Now, this slide tells us, or is comparing, Higher Education Discussion Forum, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Your discussion post in your classroom is none of the social media network, meaning that you're not writing to your friend on Facebook. So yes, while we do connect with people because you're connecting with people in your classroom, it is more scholarly work when you're doing a discussion in the online education sector it is not a facebook instagram or snapchat now while all those social media that i name is informal your discussion in the online forum is formal and it needs citation references proper grammar and proper spelling now with all these online the discussion forum for higher education facebook instagram snapchat and twitter um, except for twitter pictures can be used and is acceptable word count um in higher education yes sometimes the your instructor will tell you no more than 250 words and if there's no word count then it's fine um for twitter 
when Twitter just came out, they had a 120 word count and they, it has been doubled over recent years. All right. And some social media have minimal amount of um, word count. And also, too, you notice that with social media, people may not spell out the entire word you. Instead, they write the letter you. Or for OK, they write K. This is not accepted in the discussion forum. We want scholarly writing. Also, too, citation is not required for social media, but it is required when you're in your discussion forum for higher education because it is scholarly work. So whenever you're writing your discussion post, please keep in mind that it is not a social media post. It is a scholarly discussion forum which requires students to articulate themselves as such. If you have any question about your discussion post, please reach out to me, um, or if you're from a different school, reach out to your instructor. Thank you, and I hope this video was helpful.